Am Mittwoch, den 19. September 2012, etwa ab 9.15 Uhr mitteleuropäischer Sommerzeit, hat es wieder einen Aris Schulkontakt gegeben mit einem Komplex von technischen Schulen in Kolo, Polen. Ich hoffe, so oder so ähnlich wird das ausgesprochen. Hier hört ihr vorab den Mitschnitt von der Aussendungen der Internationalen Space Station. Das richtige Video kommt wahrscheinlich später einmal und wird dann hier verlinkt. Beziehungsweise, wenn ihr den Kanal abonniert, werdet ihr automatisch informiert. Also viel Spaß!
we do have uh, uh, the uh, hull of the station, as well as uh, in our crew quarters, some of our crew quarters, we have water wool, which, is, which helps us uh, be protected from radiation. Uh, when we do have a large solar flare, we do uh, try to get to a, a thick wall, behind the thick wall, and if worse comes to worse, we'll get hop on our Soyuz and deorbit. Over. Well, my colleague Sunny Williams is actually looking outside the window right now, and we see Germany right now. Over. Well, uh, you have a good uh, point there. Um, we do have to be able to communicate with each other, so English and uh, sometimes Russian is uh, needed. Uh, we do all have science background as well as some operational skills, uh, which we get from training. I think those are all important. Over. Um, we have uh, different networks. We have a, a network for operating the station system. We have a network for our email and reading documents, as well as the payload. So there's uh, various uh, networks. The most critical uh, network, uh, basically NASA develops it. But for others, uh, sometimes we use uh, uh, the, uh, the commercial uh, operating systems. Over. That's a very, very good question. As a matter of fact, both works well. Over. It's just like on the ground, uh, pressure is one atmosphere, air composition is basically uh, same as on the ground. We have oxygen, nitrogen, and uh, carbon dioxide from our uh, exhaling. And the temperature we can regulate, but it's usually about 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. Over. During my stay on board the station, uh, we have never seen, uh, experienced this, uh, but if needed, we do have medicines on board. Over. Well, first of all, electricity is one thing, um, food and water, uh, because we have human on board. Um, and I guess uh, we need all the people on the ground to help us uh, keep this functional. Over. For right now, I guess uh, English and Russian languages, and then uh, any scientific uh, school would be good, like engineering, um, medicine, uh, any science, and uh, just reach for your dream. Over. Well, we have uh, approximately two days weekend, and also we have some time before and after our work during the day. So um, that's about all we have, but it's, uh, we do have enough to uh, go out and uh, take a look outside the window. Over. Well, very slow compared to uh, what you have on the ground. 
Um, we don't access directly, we access it uh, remotely, and there's a desktop on the ground that we remotely access and uh, we, uh, we can search the internet uh, that way. Over. The cut itself, it looks the same as on the ground, however, the healing seems to uh, take a little longer, and I don't know the mechanism of it, but uh, that seems to be uh, the standard. Over.